Transcription is the process by which a DNA template is copied to an RNA strand. The primary enzyme of transcription is RNA polymerase. When you have completed this exercise, you should Understand the structure of RNA polymerase Understand the phases of the transcription cycle and understand the differences between transcription and replication. RNA polymerases are generally composed of several subunits. However, since RNA polymerase performs essentially the same vital function in all cells, it is not surprising that the RNA polymerases from all organisms share many features. Overall, RNA polymerase resembles a crab claw. A channel runs through the enzyme, starting between the two pincers of the claw. The active site is found at the base of the pincers within a region called the active center cleft. The active site contains two metal ions. This is consistent with the mechanism for nucleotide addition described for DNA polymerase. Like DNA polymerase, RNA polymerase always adds nucleotides to the three prime end of a growing polynucleotide. The transcription cycle is the series of events between binding of RNA polymerase to the target gene and dissociation of RNA polymerase and the completed RNA transcript from the DNA. The transcription cycle is divided into three phases, initiation, elongation, and termination. Transcription initiation can be divided into three steps. In the first step, RNA polymerase binds to a region of DNA called a promoter. In bacteria, this step involves an initiation factor called sigma, which recognizes various sequences within promoters. The RNA polymerase with sigma attached binds the promoter in a defined orientation, so the same DNA strand is always transcribed from a given promoter. The RNA polymerase and promoter form a closed complex. In the second step, the closed complex undergoes a transition to to the open complex. The pincers at the front of the enzyme clamp down tightly on the downstream DNA. Sigma also changes conformation, and the DNA strands separate, forming a bubble of single-stranded DNA. In contrast with DNA polymerase, RNA polymerase is able to begin synthesis of a new polynucleotide without a primer. In bacteria, however, once RNA synthesis begins, the RNA polymerase goes through a period called abortive initiation. The enzyme synthesizes short RNA molecules of less than 10 nucleotides. This is probably because a region of sigma partially blocks the RNA exit channel. Once this region has been ejected, and an RNA chain longer than 10 nucleotides has been synthesized, the elongation phase begins. Transition to the elongation phase is called promoter escape. During elongation, RNA polymerase unwinds the DNA in front of the enzyme, synthesizes RNA, proofreads RNA, dissociates RNA from the DNA, and reanneals the DNA behind the enzyme. In contrast with DNA polymerase, RNA polymerase is able to perform these functions without the assistance of other proteins. 
The proofreading activity of RNA polymerase is less efficient than that of DNA polymerase. While the proofreading activity of DNA polymerase only allows about one mistake per 10 million nucleotides, the proofreading activity of RNA polymerase allows about one mistake per 10,000 nucleotides. RNA polymerase has two proofreading mechanisms. The first mechanism is called pyrophosphorolytic editing and involves a simple back reaction to catalyze the removal of an incorrectly inserted ribonucleotide. RNA polymerase slows down when an incorrect ribonucleotide is added, making removal of an incorrect base more likely than removal of a correct base. The second mechanism is called hydrolytic editing and involves backtracking of the polymerase by one or more nucleotides to cleave the RNA product. In bacteria, hydrolytic editing is stimulated by GRE factors, which also serve as elongation stimulating factors. Sequences called terminators trigger the elongating polymerase to dissociate from the DNA and release the completed RNA chain. This animation describes bacterial transcription termination. Bacteria have two types of terminators, row-independent and row-dependent. Row-independent terminators, also called intrinsic terminators, consist of two sequence elements, a short inverted repeat of about 20 nucleotides and a stretch of about 8 AT base pairs. The RNA that results from the inverted repeat sequence is able to base pair with itself and forms a hairpin structure. The hairpin then disrupts the elongation complex. AU base pairs are the weakest of all base pairs, allowing the RNA to easily dissociate from the DNA. Row-dependent terminators are less well characterized, but optimally consist of stretches of about 40 nucleotides that do not fold into a secondary structure in the RNA transcript. Row-dependent terminators require the action of the row factor, a ring-shaped hexameric protein. The row factor binds to the transcribed RNA as it exits the polymerase. Using the energy derived from ATP hydrolysis, the row factor pulls the RNA from the template and RNA polymerase. Since RNA polymerase dissociates the RNA transcript from the DNA as it is transcribed, Multiple RNA polymerases can transcribe the same gene at the same time. This allows a cell to synthesize a large number of RNA transcripts from a single gene in a short time. How well do you understand transcription? In this section, you will find out. Initiation Help this bacterial RNA polymerase bind the DNA and begin transcription. Question 1. Which factor is required for this step of transcription? Question 2. Where does the RNA polymerase with sigma attached bind to the DNA? Be sure to match the orientation of the gene. Question 3. Which component or components of the closed complex must change conformation during transition to an open complex? Question 4. Once the open complex has formed, the RNA polymerase goes through a period called abortive initiation. Which component of the open complex must change conformation before promoter escape?
Elongation. Help this bacterial cell form a functional RNA transcript. Question 5. Which enzyme or enzymes are responsible for these activities during elongation? Question 6. Match the name of this proofreading mechanism with the protein that stimulates this activity. Termination. Help this bacterial RNA polymerase dissociate from the DNA. Question 7. What mechanism of termination does this terminator most likely utilize? Question 8. Which protein is necessary for this mechanism of termination? The primary enzyme of transcription is RNA polymerase. Both prokaryotic and eukaryotic RNA polymerases resemble a crab claw. RNA polymerases are generally composed of several subunits. The active site of RNA polymerase contains two metal ions. Just as in DNA polymerization, these metal ions promote the addition of an incoming nucleotide to the three prime end of the growing RNA chain. The series of events between binding of RNA polymerase to the target gene and dissociation of RNA polymerase and the completed RNA transcript from the DNA is called the transcription cycle. The transcription cycle is divided into three phases, initiation, elongation, and termination. Transcription initiation can be divided into three steps, binding of RNA polymerase to form a closed complex, transition to an open complex, and promoter escape. In bacteria, an initiation factor called sigma recognizes various sequences within promoters. During elongation, RNA polymerase unwinds the DNA in front of the enzyme, synthesizes RNA, proofreads RNA, dissociates RNA from the DNA, and reanneals the DNA behind the enzyme. During termination, sequences called terminators trigger the elongating polymerase to dissociate from the DNA and release the completed RNA chain. Bacteria have two types of terminators. Row independent and row dependent. You have completed this exercise. Transcription is the process by which a DNA template is copied to an RNA strand. The primary enzyme of transcription is RNA polymerase.